Welcome to Chair Shots to the Cranium. This is Stephen Goforth. I am here this week with my predictions to Money in the Bank coming up this Sunday, June the 17th, Father's Day, early start time, special start time of 7 p.m. Very, very excited about this pay-per-view. I love Money in the Bank. It's been one of my favorite pay-per-views for many years now. I love the excitement that comes from this with whoever takes the Money in the Bank briefcase, who's going to cash it in, when are they going to cash it in. Love it. Absolutely love it. Without further ado, let's jump right in to my predictions. Let's start with Bobby Lashley versus Sami Zayn. Of course, they had a very odd segment on Raw this past week with the obstacle course. So kind of glad, hopefully, that this one is over. Uh, the storyline between these two, I think that um, both are incredible athletes, entertainers. I just don't think they're matched up very well. I just couldn't understand or wrap my head around why the two of these two guys were put together. Uh, no offense to either gentleman. But I believe that in the end on this one, Bobby Lashley will walk away with the victory. And I just don't see how that helps either one of these two guys. Um, and I just I feel like it could have been done a little differently. But uh, again, I think Bobby Lashley uh, takes care of Sami Zayn in this one easily and goes on with the victory. Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass. I think that Daniel Bryan is just inching his way closer to that matchup with The Miz. Maybe we see that at SummerSlam. Maybe we don't. Uh, I think Big Cass coming off that injury needed to be put into a storyline with someone big like Daniel Bryan. I think Big Cass has done a wonderful job on the mic. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you have seen my approval of that. And I think uh, it's just to me, and again, maybe I'm the only one here. Maybe I, other people don't see this. Maybe you do. That Big Cass has really gotten better on the mic. Uh, before he went away with this injury, he was eh, sometimes good, sometimes not so good. But let me tell you something. He has really improved and is a really uh, big entertainer to me when he puts that microphone in his hands. So in the end, I think Daniel Bryan walks out of Money in the Bank, the winner of this match. How that happens, I'm not sure. Could be a situation where Daniel Bryan gets a clean pinfall over Big Cass. I don't think that will help Big Cass in this situation. I would have to say it's going to be via disqualification if he does take the victory. Uh, so again, Daniel Bryan, the winner of that match. The SmackDown Tag Team Championships, the Bludgeon Brothers versus Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, a.k.a. the Good Brothers, I think the Bludgeon Brothers continue their destruction and retain the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Now, from here, where do we go? Gallows and Anderson seem to be the only worthy adversary or foe of these two guys. The only two guys that seem to that could seem to take the, the belts away from them. If they can't do it, who will? That's a that's a huge question here. Uh, maybe they go on to have another rematch and take the titles. Who knows? But I think in the end, uh, for the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, the Bludgeon Brothers continue their destruction and retain the belts. The Intercontinental Championship, Seth Rollins versus Elias. I have been so entertained with these two guys. I think they've done a wonderful job, and I love watching their segments every week. I don't think this one should end at Money in the Bank. I think these two guys should continue on and continue to create some magic together on the screen. So in this one, I think Seth Rollins retains his Intercontinental Championship. However, I feel as though it should set up a rematch at SummerSlam. I think Elias deserves it. I think Elias would be a fantastic Intercontinental Champion. And I'm very excited to see how this goes. Again, here, I think Seth Rollins retains his championship. Could be shocked by that. Could be that Elias does win and throws everybody a curveball. We shall see. But I think Seth Rollins is continuing to increase or make the Intercontinental Championship more relevant carrying on what I feel like The Miz has done and making that title more relevant. And I think it should stay around the waist of Seth Rollins. 
Roman Reigns versus Jinder Mahal. Who really cares about this match? And I'm not trying to be ugly when I say that, but who does care about this match? I don't. I'm sorry to say. Um, again, I don't like to be uh, too critical or bash people on my shows. I don't believe in that. I just don't like these two guys working together. Uh, I just feel like it's one of those situations where they weren't sure what to do with either guy, and so let's just put those two guys together. Uh, could be wrong on that. I believe Roman Reigns walks away with the victory. I feel like it's predictable. Uh, I don't see how WWE Creative is going to allow Roman Reigns to take a defeat right now, especially to Jinder Mahal. Uh, I feel like Jinder has worked hard. I think he deserves a victory. I think he deserves a push. But I just don't see that happening in this one. So I believe Roman Reigns will come away with the victory in this match. The SmackDown Women's Championship. The champion Carmella versus Asuka. I think Carmella walks out of here still your SmackDown Women's Champion. Some of you are saying, you're crazy. There's no way she's going to be Asuka. You're right. I think that Asuka is the better wrestler of the two, no doubt. But Carmella has been tremendously entertaining as the champion. And I think it would be silly to take the belt off of her right now. Let her continue with it. Let her, let's see what else she can do. And I don't think it's time yet. I think she retains. Uh, again, how she wins i'm not sure i don't think she'll get a clean victory over oscar uh if she does retain which i believe she will but again carmella will be your champion after this pay-per-view and again could possibly set up a rematch the raw women's championship the champion nia Jax versus ronda rousey uh, i'm gonna go out on a limb on this one i'm gonna say that ronda rousey is gonna be your new raw women's champion but I'm not sure that is a good idea. I think the fans need to anticipate and want her to win due to all the hard work she's put in for many, many months to get to this position. Uh, a lot of fans were a little surprised that she's gotten such an early title shot. Uh, but I think that the WWE is going to surprise us all and put the belt on her now. Again, could be wrong on that. Uh, I don't want to see that happen. I think that Nia Jax should retain for a while. Again, maybe setting up another match at SummerSlam. But I think Ronda Rousey uh, will walk out of here your new Raw Women's Champion. The WWE Championship. The champion, AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. My prediction Nakamura will be your new WWE Champion. I think it's time. I think these two have had great matches with one another. And I think it needs to end at this pay-per-view. Nakamura will be your new champion. And one heck of a match between these two again. And I'm really excited to see if this does happen. Where Nakamura goes from here. Who will be his opponent in the future. How will he do with that championship around his waist? So very excited about this match. All right, let's jump into the Money in the Bank matches. Let's start with the women's match. This match will involve Charlotte Flair, Ember Moon, Becca L Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss, Natalia, Naomi, Sasha Banks, and Lana. Your winner of the women's Money in the Bank match will be Alexa Bliss. I think that if she wins this, I'm going to be tremendously entertained by her carrying that briefcase around every Monday night and just anticipating on when she's going to cash it in. I think her character would be phenomenal with this Money in the Bank briefcase every week. And she is my prediction to win. I think it's going to be one heck of a match. I think every lady in this uh, deserves to be there. I came real close to predicting, predicting Sasha Banks. Uh, not sure why. I just I had this gut feeling that maybe Sasha Banks may win this thing. She may. But in the end, I, I have to go with Alexa Bliss on this. Could see Becky Lynch. You never know. But again, I'm standing firm with Alexa Bliss. All right. Men's Money in the Bank 
match comprised of The Miz, Rusev, Finn Balor, Bobby Roode, Braun Strowman, Samoa Joe, Kevin Owens, and a member of The New Day. My prediction of the Money in the Bank men's ladder match will be Kevin Owens. I think Kevin Owens will take this one, and, and again, one heck of a matchup. I think Braun Strowman's too obvious. Could win it. Uh, they may not throw any swerves at us here. Uh, I think there's just been a lot of buildup to Braun Strowman winning this thing going on and facing uh, Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. I just I feel like that's too predictable. And, again, could be wrong here. Would love to see The Miz win it. Again, if you follow me, you know I'm, I'm a fan of The Miz. I like what he's done. I'm an, uh, very entertained by The Miz. And some people argue that tremendously, and I get that. But I think that in this one, Kevin Owens will win. Again, someone that we will all be very entertained by if he has that briefcase under his arm week after week. When is he going to cash it in? He can gloat about it, the same as Alexa Bliss. I just think he'll really entertain people with that briefcase. So again, Kevin Owens walking out of there, the Money in the Bank men's winner. Those are my predictions. Again, very excited about this one. I love this pay-per-view. Been looking forward to it for a while now. And um, cannot wait to watch it. Again, early start time, 7 p.m. this Sunday, June 17th, Father's Day. So happy early Father's Day to all you dads out there. Hope you enjoy this pay-per-view with a cold one in your hand and your favorite meal. Thank you so very much for taking another cheer shot to the cranium. I will be back soon with more shows. Be on the lookout for my view of independent wrestling, and you'll be very entertained by that. So don't miss out on that. Come back, check out my YouTube channel for that episode. Also, be sure to follow me on social media, Instagram, that's Cheer to Cranium, Cheer, the number two, and Cranium, same thing on Twitter. You don't want to miss further Cheer shots from myself. Again, thank you, take care, enjoy your money in the bank, and I'll be back after the pay-per-view to give my analysis. Have a great one.